Good afternoon everyone, today we're going to see how to display the amount of ammunition in the bottom left corner and when we shoot our weapon to remember the amount of ammunition that we have in our weapon, each of the weapon I mean, so we're going to shoot, I have 22, I'm going to shoot this one, 5, I'm going to shoot this one, 3, so if I pick up this one back I shall have 22 and if I take the other one I shall have 4, I mean 5, and this one I shoot 2 times I believe, so have three so you can see that we can remember the amount of ammunition on our weapon and it's displayed on the screen at the same time so we're gonna see exactly how to do this the first step we're gonna do is going to our first person character and we're gonna make sure in our first person character that the check box when we spawn our gun or drop by player is checked so we're gonna go to our drop weapon and if you zoom in when we drop the weapon we need to make sure that it's dropped by the player here so if it's not checked make sure you check this out because when we're going to go in the weapon pickup here remember in the weapon pickup when we start we're checking if it's dropped by the player if it does it's mean that we have to remember the amount of ammunition that it has in the weapon otherwise it's just going to be the normal uh, ammunition that we set up in the uh, weapon itself so if it's dropped by us, we need to make sure that this box is checked in the first person character here. So that way it's going to remember the amount of ammunition we have in each of our weapon. So this out of the way, we're going to go all the way down here. And we're going to create the other event dispatcher that we're going to need for the ammunition. So we're just going to create a new dispatcher. And we're going to call that current ammo dispatcher and I'm gonna input a new parameter and it's gonna be a text so I'm gonna call that current ammo I'm gonna make sure that I change the type for text and I can compile this now as we did a couple of times already we're gonna do another function and we're gonna call this function get current ammo so get current ammo and in this, we're going to start with a branch. We can hold B on the keyboard, just drag it up. And we're going to go to our Boolean here and has weapon. We want to make sure that we have a weapon in our hand. And if it's true, well, we're going to go to our return node. So let's do this now. And if it's not true, we're going to go to a return node as well. So from here, we're going to take a reference to our um, weapon master. So just go and get the weapon master under reference. Get our weapon master. And from that, we're going to search for the current ammo that we have in clip. And the current ammo that we do have in spare. So the spare. And we're going to make sure that we move that a little bit out of the way here. And we're going to take a format text. So we're just going to search for format text so we're going to go from the return value here and from that we're going to do an output i'm going to call that the result and it's going to be a text so now we can drag from this and we're going to do a format text and here we're going to write a little bit the same as we did in the slow time text all right that kind of text here so you can copy that if you want to save a little bit of time and we're going to go back to our current ammo and we're going to put that in the text here. So it's going to give us those two. So we just have to change the name here. So we're going to put current ammo in clip. And here is going to be our current spare ammo. There we go. So now we can plug our current spare and current spare and current clip and current clip. And we're all set and good to go for this. So if we have nothing here, it's going to return nothing. So what it does for us, if we do have a weapon, it's going to check the amount of ammunition we have in the clip and in spare on us and it's going to display this on the screen for us otherwise if we have no weapon it's going to display nothing so we're going to compile this we're going to go back to our first person character the same as we did with uh when we are getting our weapon give to the player here we're calling for display the name, so we're going to do exactly the same. We're going to call the event dispatcher, so just go get your event dispatcher for current ammunition. We're going to call that, and we're going to put it right there. And here we have to plug the function that we created, 
So we're gonna go all the way up, take our current ammo, make sure it's pure, and it can compile and we can plug it right here. We're gonna take those two, we can just copy that. We're gonna go all the way down here and same thing when we're dropping the weapon, we need to make sure that we call that as well. So the game knows that we have no more weapon, so it's gonna display nothing. It's gonna display this here instead of displaying this. So when that is done, we're all good for the first person character. I, actually, we have another thing to do in the event begin play. You remember we are checking if we have a weapon in our hand when we start the game or not. We're gonna do exactly the same thing for the ammunition. So we're gonna take our current ammunition, we're gonna call, we're gonna plug it right there and we're gonna take our function and we're gonna plug it right there. So now when the game start, it shall give us absolutely nothing on the screen. And if we have a gun in our hand, it's gonna display the amount of ammunition for this weapon. So we're good for this. So we're gonna go to the player odd and we're gonna put a text right here next to our weapon. So I'm gonna call text, not call, but I'm gonna search for text. And I'm gonna take the text and put it right here. I'm gonna make sure it's size to content. I place it roughly where I want. I'm gonna put 20 because I think it's big enough. And here in the text, I'm just gonna put 0 00. So my text is gonna go there. Obviously, if I start the game now, it's gonna display this. As you can see here in the bottom, it's display that. However, uh, we're just gonna make sure that we bind that to our event dispatcher so it display the good amount of ammunition. So we're gonna go to our graph here and we have our graph that look like this. So after our weapon name, we're gonna call our dispatcher here. So same thing as here is gonna be very similar to this. It's gonna take a reference to our first person character and I'm gonna drive from that and I'm gonna search for current ammo in clip so we're gonna get the bind even and we're gonna plug that after the other one right here and from even we're gonna drag and we're gonna search for custom even I'm gonna call this current ammo and from that we only have to take our variable name here so if we go back to the designer tab this here you should have something like this so we're gonna give it a real name so current ammo text and I'm gonna make sure it's a variable so we can exit this I'm gonna make sure also it's anchored to the bottom left so it's not moving anywhere and compile this I'm gonna go back to the graph tab and here now I shall have access to my current ammo text right here drag it up and now we can set our text so we're gonna search for set text we're gonna take the last one here for the widget I'm gonna plug it there and I'm gonna plug this right there. So now, if I try this up, everything should work properly. So I'm gonna start the game, I'm gonna put that in full screen, I'm gonna get the gun here. So I get 30 out of 10 bullets. And if I take the other gun, I get six out of zero and five out of zero. So if I shoot, you can see now it's not displaying on the bottom. However, I can't shoot anymore so the number just don't show up yet so we have we have to fix this so I believe I know exactly what I did wrong so from here we're gonna go back to our first person character and we're gonna go to the fire optional right here and I'm gonna make sure after the shell we are calling our dispatcher so we're gonna take our current ammo dispatcher we're gonna call it and I'm gonna plug this right there and we're gonna take our current ammo and plug it up here so now every time we shoot, it's gonna play the sound, it's gonna eject our shell, and it's gonna refresh our ammunition. So we're gonna try that once again. Do play, full screen, I'm gonna take the gun, have 30 out of 10. I'm shooting, it's going down, drop the gun, take the gun back up, I still have 19. I'm gonna take this one, I have three. Take this gun back, still have 19, and take this one, and I have three. So you can see that it's working well for us, so we'll catch you on the next one.